right? 26 Frog. T-W-N-T-Y, number 6 Frog. So today in the booth with us, we got 26 Frog, man. How you feeling, G? 26 Frog, feeling good, man. Same day, same, same, same shit every day, man. Oh, God, I appreciate you for coming through, my boy. You already know, bro. Got you. So where you from for the people who don't know? I'm from East Sacramento, like Rancho Cordova. Okay, okay. Uh, 50 so how, how was life growing up over there? Uh, that shit was like, it was cool, like, I guess it was more or less normal, you feel me? Same shit, it was a hood everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody got a, uh, a story, regular shit, niggas fine, fucking, same shit. It was cool too, though, like, it's hard, I feel like East, the East has like a, a, a bad name around it, like, nigga, it's hella bad or something, like, nigga, like, it's, it's cool, should be going down, but you know, if you know the right people, then you alright. Facts, bro. Facts. So, what kind of music do you listen to growing up as a kid? Uh, shit. I listen to everybody. When I was a kid, I mostly listened to like, like a little ass kid. I listened to like Michael Jackson and shit like that. I feel like everybody says that, but hmm. he's really the goat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Facts, it's like bro. Michael Jackson the goat. But then as I got older, like me and the homies always laugh about it. We're like, bro, we were trying to be like the pack hmm. and shit. Like we're like the pack or Mr. Fab or. We listen to Young Kurt or so pretty much Bay Area artists or Sacramento artists, shit like that. Slaps. The Jacka. So. Oh, yeah. What kind of music was your folks listen to? Oh my dad my dad's a rapper too. Like my dad's a rapper from he's from the Bay Area, but he like he came here in the nineties and he my dad's a producer and a rapper, so he produced for hella people out here. My dad went on tour with like uh E forty and Be Legit in the early two thousands. Um Dooney from the Federations is, like, went out with my aunt for hell long, and, like, he stayed with us for a minute, so, like, I've always been around music, so. I I, I mostly listened to, to Bay Area shit growing up, and then once I was, like, a teenager, I started skateboarding and shit, so I listened to, like, punk rock shit and shit like that. <laughs> Fucking shit that bitches like this shit, you feel yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> what about you into making music? Like, yeah, my dad, my, I've been... My dad was writing my verses when I was, like, five years old. So I was, like, ten. I, my dad would literally, like... He'd, I'd be feeling like my dad was, like, Joe Jackson. He'll, like... He'll be, like, remember this. Fucking... And start, re like, repeating a verse hella, like... Fucking, like, slowly so that I could remember it. And then, until I was ten, I was just reciting my dad's verses. And when I was, like, 11, 12, I start writing my own shit. So... Pressing, though. Bro, he was he was on my line. Like, he was kind of mad, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mad about it. He was like, nigga, remember that type shit. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. So, so, what was your rap name before 26 Frog? Uh, Froggo. Like, fr with it, like, G-O-F-R-O-G-G-O. -G -G -O. Go by Young Froggo or... How'd you get the name Frog? Uh, Frog, my... I've been being called Frog since I was two years old. I guess when I was a baby, I used to jump off of everything. They saw I jump off the top bunk. I didn't care, like, jump off everything. So, frog just sticking. You, my teachers call me frog growing up, like, because you, my real name is Common. You know what I'm saying? So at school, there are three, four, five other niggas with my my real name. So I think it was just easier to just call me frog. Right. Yeah. Oh God, that's definitely dope. So growing up in Sac, your whole life, how you feel about the Sacramento music scene? Bro, the scene is crazy, bro. I feel like niggas done sleeped on us, bro. It's time. It's our time, bro. It's really our time, and uh, I feel like it's just good to see, bro, because niggas sleep on us all the time. Uh, now niggas is going up. Niggas can't really hate on us because we're the hardest right now. Right. Nobody's going harder than us, bro. Second turned up right now. You hear me? Crazy, bro. I'm ready, bro. That's why I'm trying to go so hard right now because you know I'm not finna miss this window. Mm -hmm. It might never happen like this again, you know. It might go back to Chicago in a minute. Right. It might go back to you feel me, Atlanta. Florida. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, you gotta take, gotta get your window, gotta get it in while the window is open. Mm -hmm. Tell me how your future. I mean, tell me how your vision for your future is changed. Um, uh, trying to. I think it's good, bro. I'm trying to just make hella songs, bro. Like, I think I, I think I'm a good, bro. Ever since I was a kid, I never saw myself not being famous mm -hmm. for rapping. So. This is the this is the only thing I know, but I don't think, but I don't know. I hooped, I didn't been in the streets, but like nigga, there's nothing else I'm that good at besides rapping. So, I I always I see myself in the future with hoes and and money and jewelry. <laughs> right, <man. laughs> okay, who inspires you the most to make music? 
Uh, but I think uh, I can get inspired. That's my number one thing. I think my my superpower is inspiration, bro. I take inspiration from anything, bro. I might be at the I might be at the park with the homies, nigga, getting drunk. You feel me? Or just at a party or something. I go outside, take a piss, nigga, and look up in the sky, nigga, at the moon and stars and shit, nigga, and get inspired and go make a blimmer the next day, bro. Anything that happened to me, bro. Bitch, fag off. Fucking niggas act weird, bro. And all that shit just... That's why I want niggas to do me wrong, bro. Because that shit only makes me go way harder, bro. Like, niggas, niggas be mad, bro, after I go crazy. Like, so... Anything, bro. I like... Bro, I like... Like, nigga, anything. I like, uh... TV, bro. Movies. Like, if you listen to my music, bro, I got crazy movie references. Crazy video game references, bro. I know about cars. I know about basketball, bro. I know about clothes. I know about everything, so it's kind of it's a gift and a curse. There's a lot going on in my head. I feel that shit, bro. Yeah. Why do you feel like music is so important to the people in the culture? To music, music, uh, your emotions latch on to music. Hmm. So uh, music can change your whole headspace. You get, the music can change how your whole day is going. You can have a bad day at work and hop in the car. And turn on some shit, and on the way home, be your day turned around, Jeez, bro. Because you listening to some you like, or, or if you fucking with a bitch or something, bro. You listening to making some Al Green, bro. You gonna be like, man, I'm finna go fuck this bitch or something. <laughs> you gonna do, you gonna do something like you know. Oh, it's gonna change how you're feeling. You know, until you listen to fucking uh, fucking Jack or some nigga. You wanna, you finna go do some gangster shit. Right. So oh, you can do yeah. anything. You got a favorite rapper right now? Uh, bro, the favorite rapper thing is is crazy, bro. Me and my niggas always have this argument. We be getting heated, bro. Like, who's the best rapper? There's so many lists. You can have best rapper. You can have most influential rapper. Right. You can have best lyricist. All you of can, that. Your and personal. The list goes on, is, bro. There's like so. There's kind of no way to feel me rank it. You feel me? I don't, I, right now I don't listen to nobody but my own music because I don't want to be, pers- every time I listen to people too much, I be trying to, starting to sound like them and shit, I don't like that shit, so I be trying to do my, listen to my own music. Get in your space. But when I did listen, the last show I was listening to was like, uh, probably like, mm, bro, probably more like, I like like, hyper pop type shit. Cause like you know, I have spent so many years listening to fucking hood shit, bro. I'm just I need to hear everything, but I like singing, bro. I like everything, nigga. I like you got fucking... a favorite singer. Uh, favorite singer. I don't know. Could you put? I like Chris Brown. I like Trey songs. You like female singer. Female singer, bro. Uh, Selena. Hmm. Selena's hard. Not sleep on my uh. My Hispanics, man, <laughs> don't sleep on my brown people. They go hard. Uh, Selena, uh, females is crazy. Uh, Lauren Hill, fucking. I like Taylor Swift. Ta- Taylor Swift is a crazy songwriter, bro. Mm. Listen to her. She be on some fucking nerd shit, nigga. But she can write the fuck out of a song. She be going crazy. Oh God, bro. She, bro, she the fucking nerd, but she can write clean ass songs on God. Mm. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. How would you best describe the music you make? Uh. I think my music is. I think my music bridges the gap between lyrical and melodic. Uh, niggas, I feel like a lot of niggas tell me my music is so catchy. You feel me? And then I be trying to tell niggas like, "But did you listen to where I got to re- recite a verse and I got to become one of them annoying ass niggas?" But did you listen to what I said? Right. I said yada 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 yada. I know niggas don't want to hear that shit, but I'm like, I know you didn't catch it. You right. know, like you're only listening to my chorus. But then when I go into the the verse I'm saying crazy shit, so I think I'm bridging the uh I feel like I'm the underdog. I'm the I'm the hood's underdog. Mm. And I'm I'm bridging the melodic with uh with the lyrical for sure. Facts. That's heavy, bro. Yeah. Okay. God. Right. Yeah. I'm just, bro, I'm, I think I mean I I try to stay humble. I mean I'm definitely humble, of course everybody got a lot of work to do. Can't be complacent, but uh man, I think I I think I'm 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 hitting that spot right now. I'm hitting the, uh, like, on, nigga, like, when you hit a new form, bro, I'm finna evolve, nigga, like a fucking Pokemon, nigga. <laughs> oh, God, bro. What's your creative process like? Uh, music and shit. I write. So, like, I throw on a beat, and then 
I just vibe to it and I listen to it and I write. I write a whole song on my phone. And that's crazy because a lot of the homies are like, bro, you got to learn how to punch and fucking and, uh, do shit like freestyle on the spot. Like, I could freestyle too. Like, right. a lot of niggas would say I'm like the best freestyler they know and shit. But like, when it comes to writing, I like, there's hella thought into the songs that I put. Like, my songs ain't hella meaningful. Like, I'd be saying, like, nigga, I'm not preaching. Like, right. I'm not a fucking Christian rapper, but. Like, when you hear my songs, you go, oh, this nigga is really, he's thinking about what he's saying because I say elaborate shit. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I, I write the shit down, but I think when I do learn how to punch in and shit, I'm finna be a whole different beast, bro, because I know that that shit leaves you to be more creative. You can be more creative when you think about shit on the spot. Facts, bro. Like, way more. Most definitely, bro. Do you yeah. feel like uh, getting high or drinking affects your creative process anyway? Does it enhance it or fuck it up, do you think? Nah, that shit don't really do shit. Uh, that shit only affects your your life, like your lifestyle. Hmm. Like you like we smoking weed and drinking and sipping syrup and shit, that shit is lifestyle changes come with that. Like not really a thought process. I don't know, maybe to a nigga that ain't did that, I didn't did way too much in my life, so I d I didn't drink way too much alcohol and syrup and smoke way too much weed, so I'm normal when I get high or intoxicated so that that shit doesn't mess up my creative process but like the shit like if you smoke nigga 10 blunts in a day you don't want to get up and go drive to the studio Facts. you know what I'm saying? you don't want to go to the you might not want to get up and take a shower and go to the show that you got booked for oh god when, when you smoke you know because you got high you hear me yeah because man what was that afro man <laughs> yeah man I don't want to clean my room. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, right? God, man. That's just real as fuck. Mm-hmm. Real, one of the realest things a nigga ever said. Yeah, speaking of shows, you done any shows lately? Bro, I did like 10 shows this month. Oh, yeah, going up. Yeah, I did hella shows this month. Oh, but we came to one the other day, bro. I had to leave because some shit was going down, bro. But it's like, I that was, if, I'm mad I didn't do the show. Literally, they called my name up. Mm. I went uh I went up to the D I went to Duce and I was like, bro, can you we're getting it all together and then like the, I, my nigga called me like bro we gotta you know so I, I had to I had to cut like I, I'm mad though that I didn't do it, bro, because I was damn near finna hit a record, nigga. I felt like I was on tour this month. You about to go crazy. Going God, crazy yeah, going up, bro. Hella shows, bro. You gotta do shows too, cause you gotta get your stage presence up. Like you gotta it's definitely, you gotta be outside, bro. Them people gotta see your face. You hear me? Yeah, you gotta practice. You gotta yeah, talk to people. You never talk. If you're just an inside ass rapper, mm-hmm. you might as well start man rapping with a mask on and do one of them little face reveals if you're finna do that. That type of shit really, okay. really bleed that motherfucker. You mm-hmm. hear me? Cause I be I be outside, bro. I didn't have I don't have hella followers, so I'm not impressive like. To niggas like online when they see me like when they hear my music and I'm like following me on Instagram they're like damn you only have yeah. this many followers and my shit got hacked recently like right before I got to a thousand and then like now I'm restarting it back up but I'm gaining it back up because I come talk to them. like when I come I came I talked to you instantly but I walked I said who did the uh, the vault official video he said it's my brother right here they called you right over I said hey bro <laughs> you fuck with me you feel me Shit, bro. Oh God, bro. Smoke, bro! I I hunted you down, man. Oh God, oh God, bro! I appreciate that type of shit. That's real love. That's that type. That's that type of shit that's gonna make me keep going with this shit. Yeah, know? yeah, you got oh, you, God, bro. This is good right you, bro. here, bro. This shit, niggas don't be doing this shit. You feel me? So people need this, bro. I feel like yeah, they need this more than like anybody else. Like more than me doing it. You know what I'm saying? I want people to hear what the artist got to say and shit. Like. Yeah, man. Like it's a this... voice. You know what I'm saying? There's a voice behind the music and shit. And, and a lot of people don't get to hear what's going on in their mind or what's going on like in uh-huh. life in general. You hear me? Yeah. Huh. So I, I like to listen to this type of shit. So yeah. I it, think it's dope for people. It's better too, bad because you're doing it in here in a, uh, in a controlled space. You mm-hmm. know? Like there's not, even when you go to a show, you might not want to talk to a nigga because there's, there's hella people around. People right. are... In, introverted not everybody is a people person you know so when when you talk and link up with a nigga and you're hella cool with them they're more willing to you know put the put themselves out there mm-hmm. not everybody want to do that Factual, so that shit is cool i just started doing like in the middle of the events i started pulling people out into the hallway getting the interview right there and shit yeah it's gonna be some little promo for the events oh like, shit, like the tiktok <laughs> this yeah. the street niggas oh, God, them niggas man. be on the street saying crazy shit yeah. today. how many niggas are you fucking tonight <laughs> <laughs> the bitch be like, oh, I don't know. They be like, how many bodies you got? The bitch be like, twelve. <laughs> like, what the fuck, nigga? That shit is crazy, bro. <laughs> bitch, like, what's the craziest thing you did this summer? Bro, uh, you said you did like uh, ten shows this 
this month, bro? Yeah, cl- probably close, bro. I wouldn't want to count it right now, but I would say close to 10, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I mean? Shit, if you can open up a show for any big artist, it would be true. <sighs> Fuck, bro. You were asking hitters, bro. <laughs> hey, um... Anybody, bro? Either... Either Future or Young Thug, probably. Mm. It's fucked up, bro, because I don't want to be fucking, like, cliche, nigga. I feel like a lot of niggas would say that, but, bro, like, probably Future and Young Thug. Like, those would probably be the hardest nigga. I don't know, Gucci. Yeah. Gucci. Honestly, Gucci would be crazy. Would be that'd hard. Be, that'd be a dope-ass show. To open for, that would probably be top top three right there. Top three for sure. Mm-hmm. Future, Thug, and Gucci. Yeah, future thug and Gucci. Okay. If you yeah. Can ask for anything in the green room, food wise. What would you ask for? You said food wise. Yeah, you gonna make them cash out? Man, uh, I don't know, man. I like uh. You gonna make them cash out, or you gonna some regular? You need go to Popeyes or some shit? No, nah, I want some gourmet. Oh yeah, you don't get us from the bag. Uh huh. I want to uh. I want a cocktail platter, bro. The big ass ones, the big <laughs> hand. You know what I'm saying? Big ass one be like this big with the cocktail. Oh god, big ass shrimps. Oh god, big ass prawns in that motherfucker. <laughs> oh god, I want some of them, bro. Or, uh, some, yeah. or I don't know. I can go. Yeah, I can do cheap shit too, nigga. Like I like all that shit. Noodles, nigga. We can have some noodles. But you, you feel me? This is a future young thug show, bro. You can't just get no noodles. Oh, bro. you're saying that? Oh, you're saying at a young thug show? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I want expensive yeah, shit. Yeah, I want yeah. steak and shit. Oh, God. I want some crazy shit, bro. But I might not eat, bro, because I be getting drunk and shit before shows, so I might not eat before the show, but mm. I want some expensive shit, some chicken. Yeah, that shit gonna be in the back waiting, though. Wings. Oh. Fire wings catering <laughs> in the back of that mo- Big fire wings. <laughs> fire wings, that motherfucker, nigga. I want some wings, for yeah. sure. God. How do you feel like your ear for uh, music has changed over the years? Well, that's cool, bro. My, I, think I, I think I'm hella, like... I know what good music is. Like, when a nigga, when somebody can make raps good, I'll give them their, their flowers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know when a nigga's good, but I also know when a nigga's ass. And I'll tell you your ass. But my, my music is like, I like lyrical music, bro. I like fucking ignorant music. I like all, well, I don't like fucking niggas that like make music too serious because music is hella fun to me specifically. You're supposed to be having fun, nigga. That's why when I grew up, I love, I listened to niggas like walk a flocking, nigga. Oh, God, Fuck yeah. Crazy. So, niggas that turn the party up, you know, mm-hmm. make niggas want to have fun and shit, you turn feel up. me? Like, that's that's why, I like, like I said with the, the music, you get attached emotionally to music. Like, I just think you, you should have fun. You should put a, a fun vibe to your music. It's cool to be sad and, and all that shit, but it's like, I like to have fun. I'm not a sad ass nigga. Oh, God, bro. What's the best advice you've been given? Best advice I've been given ever is that you're don't blame nothing on nobody. Hmm. It sounds bad, it sounds toxic as fuck, nigga. But everything that in for the most part, nigga, ninety percent of shit that happens to you in your life is you. That's it was your fault, nigga. Yep. That was you, nigga. That should be self inflicted, bro. Niggas be mad and shit, fucking mad at the world, bro. Oh God. Like mad at the world, I'm like bro, you did that to yourself, Factual, nigga. Bro. You're mad. You're not. You don't gotta fucking. You're not have a different job. That's your fault. You're mad you didn't go here with your friends. That's your fault, nigga. Facts, you facts. mad you don't got this pair of shoes, nigga? Go get that shit, nigga. Oh, yeah. Get some money somehow. It's a I million ways. Shit, we all got the same twenty four. So, yeah. The the big homie told me before that uh, everything is is my is my fault. You know. So if I want some, pretty much I I can do it. Yeah. That's real advice right there, bro. That's real real life advice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas don't think about that type of shit. A lot of people like to blame others <laughs> for their problems. I hate a blaming ass. Yeah, and that's why they be in the same position they in for forever. You hear me? Because you're blaming everybody for besides everything. yourself, nigga. Damn, bro. I that's like, you the issue. Yeah, that was you. Yeah. You got the same 24, nigga. That's soft, bro. Um, I uh, hate complaining, blame other niggas ass niggas, bro. Yeah. That's, that's some soft shit. That shit ain't, that shit ain't good, bro. Like, uh, ain't no effort, ain't no work. Ain't nothing behind that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Niggas ain't even thinking their mindset ain't right. Mm mm. Marching. Yeah, that that, that's late. A lot of it is work ethic, bro. Mm-hmm. That's that smoking weed and shit. That's why I had to stop, bro. Stuck. 
Nigga, bro, niggas on the block and shit, bro, they be sipping syrup, doing shit. I be like, bro, don't do that. Don't do that shit around me. Right. Because if something happens, bro, we gotta be. On you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you gotta be ready, bro. That's why. I, that's why I stopped smoking so much, mm-hmm. or sipping syrup and popping pills and shit. Because, bro, I be. You you don't get nervous when something's going down, nigga. Then you're a monster. Right. You're dead, <laughs> man. Then something is, is going on. So, telling everybody to. Uh, uh, moderate, every dude, shit in moderation. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. Factual, bro. So, what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for your music career? Trapping. <laughs> not doing shit. Doing shit I'm not supposed to be doing. Oh, God. Fuck it, nigga. So, it's better that you really hop into this music shit. You hear me? Yeah, for sure. Oh, God. Yeah. Really taking that shit serious? Yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking it hella serious right now. You so. got some videos coming out? Yeah, I got uh two videos, one called Destiny, and then I'm about to film a, a video for a song I got called Trap Baby, mm. and uh, they're finna go up, bro. The trap. Bro, that's crazy because my 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 homie, he's really like my my informal manager type shit. He's just telling me, bro, like you need to do some features. I don't do a lot of features, bro, because I don't hear a lot of people on the same songs as me. Like when I do a feature with with somebody, it's really a like a like a respecting on my part like I really respect how you, how you make music if I do a feature with you so right. I I got I got a couple on the way um who I got bro I got a few I don't want to give it all up you know what I'm saying nah, let them even know something you hear me get I don't, don't, don't want to give it it's all it's I'm a fuck I'm fucking with everybody from the hood everybody from my hood and everybody that fucks with me so uh watch out for uh for the east man Rancho. We got some heat coming. We going crazy, bro. We going up for sure. So what's next for you, bro? I'm finna go get some food or something right now. <laughs> oh, you say you're oh you're saying for, uh what? <laughs> oh God, bro, man, getting on all the platforms. I already got on. I was on Elevator twice earlier this year. You know, Elevator is, mm-hmm. and then um, I got that Thizzler highlight maybe like last week, bro. Okay. They be they be tweaking on there. They was mad at me last night, but I got on there. That nigga gave me a negative five. I was hot, nigga. Yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah, bro. Fizzler comments just be crazy, you know bro. Saying? That was true. And what was hoodlums in them comments, bro? Bro, they be tweet. They be demons in that motherfucker, bro. Hoodlums in that motherfucker, bro. But my little my a lot of my family is from like Fairfield area, you know. So it's like, nigga, my like got little cousins and shit. Like them niggas is demons, bro. Like. Niggas not playing. Fuck, you especially know. them give a fuck on Instagram. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, goddamn it, they be talking crazy, bro. <laughs> it be some real hoodlum ass niggas in them Disney comments, bro. That's why I don't even <laughs> fuck around, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah. even go look at that shit unless I want to go laugh. At it. Yeah, then I'll go. You know what I mean? Like peep the Disney comments because niggas be. Uh-huh. Roasting, um, like, nigga, I swear to God, Northern California is different too, nigga. Heavy. I swear to God, what we have, bro, when we say that you look like somebody, bro, and we don't be playing, bro. That mean we thought of that in our head, like, you oh, really this, look like you that, look like, like this, yeah. bro. You think about that shit in your head, you be like, damn, bro, that nigga really look like just like that, nigga, that bro. Roasting shit is heavy in Northern California, like that's really bro. Like, that's how niggas communicate out here, bro. It's making fun of each other, bro, and it's not even hard feelings or nothing uh, like that. You it's just, love. it's all love, bro, like. I think I don't laugh. I don't laugh so much in my life, bro. I'm desensitized from funny shit, bro. Literally, shit. unless you fall down in front of me, nigga, mm-hmm. or some shit like that, I'm not gonna laugh, bro. <laughs> like niggas be like, you see this meme, bro? This funny? I'm like, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's not you for me. Yeah. Niggas say some sh- nigga unless some nigga. Funny ass shit. You got a fucking booger in your nose or something, nigga. Oh, you look funny, nigga. I'm gonna laugh at you, but niggas don't be funny like that no more. You gotta come with some heat. Yeah, you got. Really- Oh, yeah, that's your brother Thizzler con the Thizzler comments be crazy. It'd be Indian niggas and shit. They'd be like, This bro. nigga look like Nav and shit. Bro. I'd be crying, bro. Like, <laughs> like crying yeah, laughing, Thizzler's bro. A, Thizzler's a wild place. Like Instagram and YouTube is just like and even if you go on a, like a World Star yeah, or something exactly, like Say bro. Cheese or something like the niggas be roasting you, yeah, bro. Like this I think it might just be our generation. I don't know how old you are, bro, but this in this generation, bro, we're assholes. Assholes. I'm 23, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas is on these nigga next, bro. Necklace. Can't go to school, bro. <sighs> but we was doing niggas. Trife at school, bro. Can't do bro. shit, bro. Oh, my God. There was no God. way, bro. <laughs> niggas would 
changed their whole school because they mm-hmm. got roasted so bad, bro. Then niggas start coming with them elaborate roasts. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you look like a Mongolian crazy. Yeah, you be like, shit, yeah, man. you like, oh, niggas is tripping now, <laughs> bro. <laughs> niggas, I'm going home. Yeah, Thank bro. God, bro. Niggas be wild, bro. Do it bro. too much, bro. Appreciate you for coming through, though, my boy. Yeah, you already know, bro. I'm going to come fuck with you. I'm coming to all the events and all that. You already know, oh, man. Oh, God, we going to see your face a lot more for sure. Yeah, I think you you only did two of the past the mics. Mm-hmm. That's you do. Are you doing more? Nah, it's been it's been gang done did a few of them. Like it's been a uh, it's been a few past the mics done in my fucker, bro. But they really um they really just do like a freestyle Friday shit. Yeah, I was gonna say y'all only be doing the freestyle Friday, bro. I come to the past the mics. I'll do the freestyle it Friday. Ain't been as many past the mics that has been freestyle Fridays, but y'all be doing that shit every week. Mm-hmm. And they just started a free slice Friday, so where they go, 